So, uh, welcome to Stamets Academy. Today we are having grade 6. Uh, we will be looking at properties of 2D shapes. So, the day today is... Uh, day today is 18, 18th of July 2022. So, So we are looking at properties of 2D shapes. Uh, this D here, this D here stands for dimensional. This is dimensional. So 2D does not mean that you have two sides, but 2D means that you have two dimensions, not two sides, two dimensions. Right. So let's look at the first one. We're going to look at uh, triangles. Going to look at triangles. Now, tri means three. So this means that these are the shapes that have got how many angles? Three angles. Now three angles mean three sides. So we have got three angles. Now now all triangles. All triangles have got three angles and three sides. Now again, all triangles, all triangles have the sum of angles being 180 degrees. So it means when you add all three angles, you get the, uh, the sum of 180 degrees. For example, if you are given two angles, maybe one is 80, one is 60, it means the dead one is 90. Because when you add all those three, you must get 180 degrees. Now, there are three types of triangles. We can classify triangles, uh, types of triangles based on their size. Now we can, try, then we can classify triangles based on their side, based on the proportionality between the sides of each triangle. For example, the first triangle that I'm going to look at uh, is this triangle here. This is my triangle. This three lines means that all the sides are equal, right? Maybe if you measure them, you may guess that they are not equal. But the fact that I put this means that all the all these sides are equal. Now, what do you call this triangle? We call this triangle an equi equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. Equi means equal, so all three sides are equal. Now, because the product of both sides are equal, it means even all three angles are equal. Each angle is 60 degrees, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Now, three sides and all sides are equal in this type of a triangle. Right. Now, the second triangle. Uh, now, okay. And uh, all sides, all sides are equal. Now, triangle number two. Triangle number two is a, an isosceles triangle number two is an isosceles triangle now this is my triangle here this is my isosceles triangle now this means that out of the three triangle uh, out of the three sides that I have here only two sides are equal there are three sides, but only two of them are equal. So this is only two sides are, are equal. Only two sides are equal. This is this is an isosceles triangle. Only two sides are equal. And the third type of a triangle based on the side uh, is this one.
this is a scalene triangle. Now, this is how it looks. None of the sides are equal. As you can see, that this side here is the shortest one, uh, followed by this one, and then this side here is a longest side. So this is how we, uh, we show that none of the sides are equal in a skyline triangle. None of the sides are equal. Alright. So now we have classified triangles based on their sides. Let us look at triangles now based on their angles. We can also classify, we have types of triangles based on their angles. We can just find them based on their angles. Now the first one, for example, the first one that you can take, the most popular one, is a right, a right angled triangle. A right angled triangle. Now, a right angle, this here, a right angle is what? This is 90 degrees. So it means the right angle triangle has got an angle of 90 degrees. This here means that out of 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. Now, we have got a special name now for this longest side here. We call this side a hypotenuse. This side is a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is a longest side in a triangle. In a triangle, a longest side is called a hypotenuse. Even if it's not a right angle triangle, but you do have a hypotenuse. Right. That is the first one. Uh, uh, it can be defined as uh, a triangle with an angle of 90. So out of three angles, look at a, a larger angle. If it measures 90, uh, it is a right angle triangle. Angle of 90 degrees. Now the second one. The second one uh, is an acute acute angle angle triangle. This is an acute angle triangle. And uh, now this is a triangle with a larger angle. A largest angle, a largest or biggest angle. Which is less than 90 degrees. Because remember, they have got three angles in a triangle. So we need to look at, the, at, at, at all those three angles and identify a larger one or a bigger angle and then compare it with 90 degrees in this case. So if it is less than 90 degrees, no matter what, if it's 89 or 7 or what, as long as it is not less than 90 degrees, it is therefore an acute angle triangle. For example, I have my triangle here. For example, this is 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So they are all 60, these angles are all less than 90 degrees. So it means that they, they are acute, this is an acute angled triangle. Angles are acute angles, but a triangle is an acute